Hello and welcome to yet another one of my on the bench videos. This is about the uh, Moran's CD63 Ken Ishiwata edition. Uh, I'm going to play first my torture disc, which is a uh, test disc with interruption data layer and with black dots on the other side. And you can see that that's that's where they are over there. And um, the player bears the distinctive Kenny Shiwata uh, badge there. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's a um, CD63 with some modification done by Ken, which is a Japanese uh, designer that Marantz is very proud of. He's got a copper chassis over there, a couple of H dams, which are basically district discrete output stages and then full of Elma good quality capacitors. It has still original Philips, you can see Philips um, uh, mechanism. Um, let me play um, a track of some sort and I'll show you over there you can see an eye pattern which is when we do a quick measure it tells us that it is 1.25, you know, peak to peak, um, and it is 1.7 volts from the ground, which is exactly what we have a diagram here. Exactly what it says, the I part there should be 1.7 and 1.3 volts. So this is basically as new from the factory. Um, let's play um, uh, some tracks. Um, which is uh, biggest interruption data layer. You can see the sound is nice and clean. We go now to track 15, which is the biggest black dot, and that interpolates very well. So as you see, the player is in technically in um, pretty good condition. Uh, another bit that they always like to do is to play the 90 minute. CDR, which um, as you see, instantaneous table of contents reading, and um, and it plays just as fast. And you can skip tracks with equal speed. It has no problem with that at all. That one starts with the bass a bit later. That's why you didn't hear the sound. And also it um, it winds fast and backwards as well. It got no problem at all. So um, we are now uh, what um, out of 85. So we are 75 minutes. You are already behind the Red Book standard. So it reads well into the area that other players cannot do. We can go further to 85th minute. As you see, it just does it no problem at all. Not a single skip or anything. So it will pretty much read anything you will throw at it. We can go all the way to the end. Well, that's the 85th minute. So uh, this player is, is, in, is a great nick um, technically. It does have, a, cosmetically, I'll, I'll, I'll post pictures, cosmetically it has a few nicks here and there on display. I mean, as you can see now, they're not all that visible, being all black, but on the close inspection, you know, you, you can see that there are a few nicks. I'll show that in the pictures, and you know, as you can see, there is a bit of corrosion here on the inside but but the board is pristine there's nothing wrong with the board there so um, overall it's very good condition and they'll be soon available uh, for sale and thank you very much for your time and as you see coming up to the to the end it plays 85 minutes or 84 and a half minutes very well, well thank you very much until next time